So real quick, here are the parts of an airfoil. Up front here, we have the leading edge, and you just think about it, it leads the uh, airfoil through the air. Back here, we have the trailing edge, which just trails behind the leading edge. The upper camber is the upper curvature, and the lower camber is the lower curvature. Now, if you take a line and go straight from the leading edge to the trailing edge, this is the cord line. Now, what I have drawn here is a symmetrical airfoil in that the upper and the lower are the same. Now, if I draw an asymmetrical airfoil, it would look something more like this. If I draw the cord line, you would see that the upper camber and the lower camber look different. So this is an asymmetrical, this is a symmetrical. So now we're gonna talk about some basic aerodynamic terms. Now, the real key to understanding this and honestly teaching it is to make everything come to this point back here. It's not really exactly how it works in real life, but it makes drawing it and teaching it a lot easier. So we're gonna start with our cord line goes up through the blade. Down here, this is our plane of rotation. This is the actual plane that the rotor blade is moving through the air. Now, just because a rotor blade is moving through the air like this, doesn't mean that that is necessarily the angle the wind is striking it at. It's not necessarily coming like that. Depending on if you're climbing, descending in an auto rotation or whatnot, the wind might be striking it at different angles. So we have what we call the relative wind. So this is the actual angle that the air is striking the rotor blade. Now between the relative wind and the cord line, this is your angle of attack. This is where we get our lift from. Now down here, this is what we consider to be our induced flow. Induced flow is actually bad. We do not like it. And you can see if you have more induced flow, you have less angle of attack, meaning you have less lift. Now your overall angle from your cord line to your plane of rotation, which is your overall, this is a mechanical angle, it's not an aerodynamic angle, this is your pitch angle. And that is just simply how much pitch you have compared to the plane of rotation.